Hello there. Oh, good morning, Anna. Hi there. How are you? I'm so wonderful. I slept much like a baby. Oh, oh, really? What a baby. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and take a nap after this. That sounds like a delightful use of time. It does, yes. Not much to do in our castle right now, but I'm thinking of lots of things, of course. Oh, goodness, of course. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, so I asked some of our sweet, wonderful young friends. Oh, wonderful. I asked them what they would ask, ask you if they could. And one of them wanted to know, what is your favorite food? Well, I think they know the answer to this. It's chocolate. <laughs> of course, it's chocolate. You know, my parents love chocolate. And of course, I actually have a steaming cup of hot chocolate right now. That is amazing. I actually have coffee over here, and that's your my favorite drink. Oh, you have coffee? Mm -hmm. I, Elsa says I don't need any coffee. She says I have enough energy. And I think a little bit of caffeine and chocolate as well. There is just enough to give you that, that buzzy feeling in the morning. Ooh, I love that buzzy feeling, like falling in love. I thought I had that buzzy feeling with Prince Hans, but I didn't. That's all right. It's all right. It's love is wonderful. And when you find it with the right person who actually does love you, I think that's the best. You mean like Kristoff, like my fiance? Yes, that's a wonderful thing. Yes, he's very supportive of me and he doesn't try to control me or take control of the situation. He asks me what I need and how he can help me and support me. Mm hmm. He trusts you to know, and that's beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Almost as beautiful as your hair. My goodness. Were you struck by ice magic? Oh, no. I just, I sleep on it, and then with when you have your head shaved, you see. Mm. When you have your head shaved, it means that every bedhead is really good morning hair. Oh, oh I, it, it gives you nice volume. Nice volume. I love the volume you're getting over there. Oh, I'll, 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 it's teased, it's certainly teased, but I'll comb it into a nice, pretty princess style later, you know, when I have to be princess. I mean, being a princess is a hard job, you know. I keep saying I'm a princess because I'm so used to being a princess for 18 years of my life. I'm a queen now. Oh my goodness, congratulations, majesty. Okay. Very much. Well, I'm a little bit nervous about running the kingdom, but I, it's a places here in Arendelle and Elsa's places in the Enchanted Forest. It's she true. can discover herself and, you know, be wild and free and ride knock throughout the dark sea. It's true. She's having a lot of fun with that. As I'm sure she is. It sounds like a marvelous adventure. And so does being a queen. I think you have the right attitude about it to do the next right thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't know what to do. It's and that is the time when you can ask friends that you love and you trust. Mm-hmm. Yes, and ones that support you. Exactly. Olaf, you know, although Olaf, you know, he, anytime he wants to help me, he keeps running off to the castle library and he has to tell me all these other facts that have nothing to do with the question that I'm asking him. Of course. He's just so excited to share everything that he's learning with me. He's learning so much. I am delighted to know how much he's learning every time. He is. He's oh learning that turtles can breathe out of their butts. That's one of his favorite things to say over and over again. And it makes people, it makes the guards in Arendelle laugh. So he keeps saying it because he, he's learning how to tell a very good joke. It's true, and jo telling a jo good joke is a good skill to have, especially as the friend of somebody who has so much power like you. Telling a good joke is always a good <laughs> idea. It releases the tension. Of course, of course. Well, maybe that's why I'm doing always these awkward little things like falling out of my chair or spilling my hot chocolate on my dress or, you know. You know I'm, just the tension. I'm doing that totally intentionally. It's completely <laughs> intentional. <laughs> 
If I had a farthing for every time I hit one of the angels accidentally with a sword. Oh. <laughs> thankfully, oh, we use wooden so swords. Funny, though. That's dangerous. It can be, but thankfully, we use wooden swords. Oh. And to be fair, they have also accidentally hit me with swords. <laughs> we call it oh. back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, but it has been very interesting this quarantine time, huh, Princess Anna? Queen Wait. Anna, dang! So I I forget I know, it's awkward. I'm used to just like you're used to it too. I'm used to being, you know, just the other sister. I'm not used to being the one in charge. It's very exciting, but yes, it has. You know what? But I'm, I'm still seeing Elsa. Elsa has her ice powers, of course. So she's able to stay nice and safe. And she's able to come over every Sunday night. We have family charades night. So oh, we haven't been seeing a lot of people outside of the castle. But we're definitely seeing our family still. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We're oh, able to freeze away the blues. Especially Aww. when it's so beautiful outside. Now spring is coming, and it's one of my personal favorite seasons. Olaf's is summer, but I love the spring. And we have, you know, the ducks in our garden. They're having little ducklings, and I'm able to sing to them. And the nature is so beautiful right now. I'm, I'm so lucky that we still get to go outside and have fun outside. Isn't that true? I have experienced, now I am personally from the desert of England, obviously. Uh, ye old Sonoran I, English. I've never been, I would know, I would know I've never been to England. You, you could be telling me the truth and not just telling me a fib or pulling my leg. <laughs> but I don't get to experience, I didn't get to experience Springs until I started working with the angels. And now I get to see the seasons change and it's beautiful. Mm hmm. I think I see what everyone in temperate regions likes. We take for granted being cooped up in our castles that we can do so many lovely things outside. And even just gazing at the clouds. Olaf loves to do that. He likes to pretend he's a cloud and make little animals and shapes in the clouds and pretend what they are. That's oh, laying on our backs. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got to see. Did you see the full moon? I did. I was absolutely gorgeous. Yes. I was I had, delighted. I had a little picnic, a little evening picnic with Kristoff. It yeah. was a date. Mm -hmm. it, it was romantic. Candlelight. Yes, it was romantic. We shared sandwiches. He knows that's one of my favorite things. And then we had chocolate chip cookies. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. I so delighted to hear it. <laughs> All of the angels have adopted the uh, practice of howling at the moon at 8 p.m. every evening. Oh, my goodness. And so it has been a fabulous trend that uh, some of our friends and fans have been like, you should howl. And Penny in particular has taken to it. Like, I don't know, a wolf to howling. <laughs> How do you, is it how, is it like a emotional guttural how, how do you how? I think it depends on the evening. I have lately, I do very small howls because mm -hmm. I live in a very populated area and I want to be con conscientious of my neighbors. Can you tell Elsa about that? Remember when she was singing Into the Unknown and she was just waking up everyone in Arendelle? She was just belting out into the night. You need to teach her about that. I will. I'll just be like, hey, Elsa, maybe for a tick, just maybe, just a little howls. Little light in the soprano register for once. You know, some nice, calming lullaby. Maybe the one that our mother used to sing to us. Maybe not just a big, brassy belt power ballad. I mean, <laughs> did I just say that? I just said that, Elsa. Don't tell Elsa You're that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Just between us girls. Absolutely. <laughs> the yes. little howls, baby little, howls. I do little howls. Just ow. Oh, they're so cute. 
Thank you. But knowing that the other angels, even though we're not together right now, are also howling at the moon, it makes us feel connected to each other. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. And you'll see each other very soon. We I know we will. will. We're coming on to the other side of the mountain. We've exactly. climbed the North Mountain. We're coming onto the other side. I mean, pray that Marshmallow just tosses us off the side so we go as fast as we can flying down the mountain on a gives sled. Us, gives us a throwing, throwing leap. <laughs> a throwing leap. A throwing leap to freedom would yes. be snow amazing. You are right. <laughs> Anna, I love the puns. They're so good. <laughs> oh, well, you know, have to think up some things to do. It's true. Mm -hmm. We angels like to use a lot of puns in a lot of our work. Oh, yes. I'd yes. love to hear more, more about it. Or perhaps you have more questions for me from I our little... I do have more questions somebody. from you. Oh, I do have more questions. So, we know that your favorite food is chocolate, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean... And you told us earlier, you told me earlier that your favorite, your fav you love the springtime. That mm -hmm. was another question that we had. My what favorite. Is, what is your favorite season? Oh, sometimes I talk so much that I just answer questions before you ask them. I love it. It's so delightful. Someone once told you me I talk. You have an open heart. Oh. And you have a lot of candor. And I appreciate that. Thank you. You have a very open heart as well. Lots of warm hugs. Warm oh. Chocolate, Olaf, big hug your way. Oh, thank you. Olaf. I did have one other question. Oh, yes, of course. Now, this question is very specific, but it was it's from a very precocious young human. Okay. And he asks if, as the new queen of Arendelle, what your most you what you were most excited to do as queen oh gosh <laughs> why did my mind immediately jump to get married <laughs> make have my king of arendelle <laughs> because a royal wedding is always a beautiful thing <laughs> I can't help it. I've always been all about love and connections with other people. And that is the most exciting thing is for Kristoff to rule with me. I think that's an excellent plan, especially since he wasn't born noble. So he has a, a different perspective than you have. You can talk to me about all the people in Arendelle and about the ice harvesters and the trolls and the people in the mountains. Mm -hmm. He is a great emissary, I would say. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. He would be a wonderful advisor about everything going on. It's and true. Course, the royal art ice harvester, master, and deliverer. It's true. <laughs> mm hmm And well, what else would I like what I'm excited to do? I'm excited. I, I'm all into traditions. It's mm. Halloween traditions. I don't know if anyone saw our story about Christmas, how we and Olaf went around and discovered about everyone's different holiday traditions and the different holidays that they celebrate and the ones that are special to their families. And I'm all about tradition. So I'd like to start some traditions of opening up the gates and having some royal balls and doing some dancing. As you know, dancing is one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes I like to practice in my stocking feet as I slide around the halls. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is delightful. You like to dance too, don't you? I do like to dance. I am very bad at it, oh, but no. I love to do it. That, that's the important thing. It doesn't matter if you're bad at something. Anyone can get good at something by practicing. It's true. The joy that you're having. Exactly. And I have found that dancing and sword fighting are fairly similar. The intent is very different. But <laughs> I am an eager student. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the, the intent is rather different. Yes, yes, I would say I so. <laughs> People practice their sword fighting for play. You know, Kristoff sometimes goes with the royal guard and he's learning how to fence and he loves to do that. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my goodness. And I found that dancing goes hand in hand in singing, which is one of my favorite things to do. Really? Uh, mm, one of my favorite things to do as well. Oh my goodness! 
Are you in are you in a place that you're able to sing now? I am. Wonderful. By the way, I like the little icicles that you have behind you right there hanging up. Oh, thank you. They're so they're pretty. They're made out of, out of paper and they're shiny and I love them. Oh, well that maybe that's a way that I can use my imaginary. You know, I was the sister born powerless. I, maybe that's a way I could use my special powers and pretend to have ice powers. Did you know that sometimes I wear Elsa's ice dress, her old one, her let it go dress. She doesn't like to wear it anymore. She's kind of embarrassed by it. But I wear it around the castle in Arendelle and I pretend to have powers just like her because it's fun. I, I think that's delightful. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just see, yeah, I can just picture you just, whee! <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. But yes, I am in a place where I could sing. Oh, would you like to sing a song? Actually, I have a friend who would love to teach you an angel song, if that's all right. In our show that we have for all ages it's friendly for the whole family we have a friend named baby dragon and oh. baby dragon turns six next year and is very excited and is an angel and is also a heroine just like us so the baby dragon would love to dragon. sing a song and teach you the the chorus of one of our songs is that all right i would love that that. And then you can sing a song to Baby Dragon because Baby Dragon loves you. Oh, oh, I'm so excited to meet Baby Dragon. You have no idea. Oh my God. <laughs> I will be right back. You're beautiful. Look at your color. Oh, thanks, you too. <laughs> I'll keep that. I'll keep that very uh, lovely to meet you. Queen Anna. So the angels are heroines in disguise, and that means they're lady heroes, just like you. Mm -hmm. and so the song I'm going to sing is about historical ladies who were also heroines in disguise. Oh, all right. All yeah. right. It's called Heroines True. Okay. <gasps> Come, all who will listen, give an ear to my song, and I'll sing in the praise of women fearsome and strong. In power, in battle, or revel, they'll see the job through. Drink hail to the ladies, all heroines true, all heroines true, all heroines true. Drink hail to the ladies, all heroines true. Okay, so I have three verses. One is about Boudicca in Ireland, and one is about Jean de Clisson in France, and one is about Queen Timar in uh, Georgia, which is a country in um, like the middle of Europe. Which oh. one do you want to hear? Oh my goodness. Um, oh, oh, okay. Name them really quickly again. Uh, Boudicca, Jean de Clisson, and Queen Tamar. <gasps> Let's do Boudicca. Ooh, the Celtic Queen Boudicca made the Romans run. The, oh. Oh no! Gave too long. I think it's been a long time. It's okay. Uh, by her, oh, there are mighty fortresses by her warriors undone. Her quick hand to guide them, vic brings victories ensued. 
drink hail to the lady, a heroine true. So this is the chorus. All heroines true. All heroines true. Drink <laughs> hail to the ladies, all heroines true. Ooh. I love that. Thank you, Queen Anna. For sharing that with me. I love learning about the traditions, like I was just saying, of other kingdoms. It's amazing. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Maybe all of our friends out there can sing that too. I bet I they love it. So mm -hmm. What is one of your favorite songs to sing? Well, right now, because I know everyone is stuck in their castles and in their kingdoms and they can't travel by ship to anywhere new right now, mm -hmm. I. I'd like to sing a song about opening the gates and, oh, I like that. and meeting new friends for the first time in forever, which is what we're able to do right now. We're able to meet new friends. It's true. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I see. Okay, all right. Um, the window is open, so set door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we owned 8,000 salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Oh, I have a ballroom with no balls. Finally, they're opening up the gates. They'll be actual real life people. It'll be totally strange. Wow, am I so ready for this change? Cause for the first time in forever, there'll be music, there'll be light. For the first time in forever, I'll be dancing through the night. Don't know if I'm elated or gassy, but I'm somewhere in that zone. Cause for the first time in forever, I won't be alone. I can't wait to meet everyone by magic mirror. Hi, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Okay, uh, Queen Anna, I'm gonna go get Esther real quick. Is that okay? Yes, please do. Okay, it was so wonderful to meet you via Magic Mirror. You warm <laughs> hugs, baby dragon. Bye. <laughs> baby dragon was so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, Esther, your friend is just delightful. Some would say she's on fire, isn't she? She would love to say she can breathe fire, but alas, she is still a baby. <laughs> oh, just little clouds of smoke, little sparks. Yes. That came it, it sounds kind of like a dying carburetor. Uh, um, it sounds an uh, awful lot like this. <sighs> That's what Kristoff sounds like when he sleeps. <gasps> I believe it. <laughs> Well, Anna, this has been the most delightful visit. Oh, it has. It really has. Thank you, Esther, for inviting me. And, well, I think I need, I think I need to get dressed. I really want to take a nap. I really want to take another nap. But I think I need to get dressed, and I have to be the queen. Yes. You're going to do a great job, and I'm not worried about it in the slightest. <laughs> You. Well, you know what? I'm going to be having my coronation day very, very soon, so I'll feel more at home in the role. And well, I hope to see you sometime. I would love to travel by, by ship. You know, we are a seaport kingdom so that I can come to you. Absolutely. We would love to see you, me and all of the angels included. And maybe we'll take a trip to Arendelle and teach her uh, your royal guard some broadsword tricks. Oh, yes, me too. I'd like to learn to ever since I held that ice sword. I never really got to use it, and I didn't know how to use it, but I really want to learn that. I keep meaning to, but I keep putting it off because I keep getting distracted by more fun things to do. That's but, fair. When we but, visit, we'll teach you. Absolutely. All right. Much love to you and to Baby Dragon and to all of the angels and all of our friends by Magic Mirror all around the world. Absolutely, my dear. All right, goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm.